back again. Um, actually, it doesn't seem like I went, any, went that far, but uh, basically I'm doing these videos right in a row. So this has been basically about, um, basically with the two videos, it's probably about 15 minutes each. It's been about a half hour that I've been on this drawing that I've been. So if you didn't catch the first two videos, by all means, go back and take a look at those because I can usually go faster than this, but the um, with me doing it, so I'm doing it slow. I've slowed it down and I went back to the beginning basics, which I think everybody should start at. And that's when you take a form or a character. And this is a character from my Primeval series. Um, that Basically, he's a, um, a warrior type person that we put together. But we did circles first, cylinders for his neck. All the joints are circles. All the limbs are cylinders. And then we filled in from there. And then after we did the circles, the cylinders, and kind of built the uh, the uh, warrior's body up, you know, we added in armor. Um, he's got a helmet on, got a shoulder pad, got a shield, a sword, um, unimproved sword, and, you know, a big uh, kind of gird for the middle. So we've already kind of started fleshing him out. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take uh, what we've kind of already done uh, with our pencil aspects and what we're going to do is we're going to go back in and we're going to go ahead and do some inking. Now, ink work, um, it's really up to you. I mean, there's different types of pens. Like I said, you can go way professional, very expensive pens out there, very expensive pencils. You probably even get better results. Um, but the thing is, is that sometimes, especially if you're if you're not, you know, you know, at the top of the game, I mean, it's, you know, learn the trade first. And it it can be, I mean, but you can have the best pool stick in the world. That means you're going to win every pool 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 match you get into. Um, so I use whatever I can find. I always have, <laughs> just because we started that way when I was a kid. So if you want to get into kind of drawing and doing it daily, if you're running around trying to spend a fortune, don't do that. I would just, you know, use bond paper or whatever you got. And actually, you can kind of see I'm still using... Uh, uh, kind of like it's a little bit longer than a normal like typing sheet uh, because it's I got these uh, packages when I was in Europe so I'm still kind of burning through those so <laughs> the um, we're gonna go ahead and do the inking though because that's what you came here this is the uh, third third video uh, the first two videos started with the circles and the um, cylinders and the skeleton and then from that we added the dimension to the circles and cylinders and then with that dimension we also added some armor added some background so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sketch and i'll keep you close so you can kind of see what i'm doing uh, but basically we're going to go ahead and kind of fill out some of these details and like i said i don't like to go real deep into details right now uh, because i know i'm going to end up coloring this drawing so i don't want to go too deep but basically, I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to kind of sketch out what's going on here. And he's basically wearing a helmet with some tusk. Give him an eyeball. So you have an intense glare. Cheekbones. Um, you always want to make sure that you include the cheekbones of the individual because, you know, everybody has them. You know, so you can do that. Then you... Kind of put the lips in there. On Tricenaria, the world, it's a world of three suns. Um, so, gives you, I like drawing from building a world first and then drawing. Because then I know kind of why things are happening. I think it's easy to do stuff. Um, I can draw, but when I, when if I don't make a road map of why people are doing things, it actually I can get kind of distracted. Um, and I'd rather keep it kind of in tune with what we're doing. And that's the reason that I'm doing this is that basically making it where he is kind of set up. I'm give him kind of a mean scowl look to him. Put his helmet over here. And then right there, you got the his other eye. Now some of the work that I do and that you'll see um, here on the channel, I'm not going to post on 
uh, Facebook, for example. There's stuff I'm going to post on Facebook, but some stuff that I do on Facebook. In fact, lately I've been, I've had so much writing and stuff that I need to get done that I haven't been um, putting current stuff. I've been putting older stuff up there. But the reason I do the older stuff is because, one, I do like to kind of keep my entertainment thing going. Uh, but this one is more of a instructional channel. You know, so you can, if you want to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, you can kind of see in my feeds what I'm up to and what I'm working on. But behind the scenes, what you see out there is not always what I'm actually working on. Um, so, Tri Scenario is kind of my, my baby, and I've kind of broke it down where I'm starting to try and complete several projects about different projects in a given month. And this guy, we're trying to make him, give him a strong look to him. We'll go ahead and round out his shoulder here. Connect his chest. And we're not getting too detailed because, like I said, we're going to end up, these lines really just kind of focus on give us an idea of where his armor and pieces and stuff like that are going to be before we actually do the final drawing and that's when we'll color it in and then we'll come back and do final pins um it's kind of the last thing we'll do but this is just initial pin work I'm actually going a little bit more detailed than I usually do. Usually I'll do even less than this and just, just to get the color in there. Um, I do basically, I do technically by comic book terms, I do my own flattening. I do my all my own work. So sometimes when I write, I get way ahead and my art department, which is me, needs to catch up. So when you're an independent, you know, there's... Um, if I'm famous one of these days, I'll probably, you know, hire a crew and, you know, I've got enough material that we can actually kind of put like a whole bunch of stuff out. But for right now, until I get to that point, um, it's basically full retirement mode. Um, I'm just going to keep putting out videos and doing what I can to get it done. And you do have to think about three dimensions. Um, yeah, you, know, you always want to think is is this dimension is this give me like the full kind of three dimensions and because this is like a old kind of uh, beginning world, everything is not improved. These are not like improved swords and armor and stuff like that. That's just how Tri-Scenario is right now. They're still fighting the uh, terror, which are big uh, giant um, like dinosaur creatures. Um, so I know on our world we didn't we didn't grow up around dinosaurs, but you know that's the beauty of imagination. You can do different things in different worlds, and not everything is like it happened here on Earth. Some things happen where they happen, you know how they had them happen. So that's another thing I like about uh, fantasy is that you can kind of make up what you want to happen. It might not be necessarily what. You know, happened on our world, but it's what happened on their world. It's kind of hard to argue what happened on a world that's fictional that you just kind of made up. I'll tell you another thing too. I don't, um, I don't really do fan art myself. Um, I focus more on just doing my work. Um, now I know some people have done renditions of my work and sent it to me, but um, I generally don't do other people's work just because. You know, it's, um, you know, there's no real purpose for me. I mean, I've got enough drawings of my own or ideas that I want to get out that, you know, I, if I'm spending time doing stuff that's not uh, like a benefit in a way or benefiting what I'm working on, then I'm just kind of wasting my time. And you can see we kind of...
And like I said, I'm, I usually use less line work than this, but today I'm going with a little bit more because I want you guys to kind of see what the picture, and hopefully you see that clear enough of what I'm doing with the picture. I've been doing these um, oh, barbarian drawings. I started actually when I was in high school. There were several I did back then. So all these ideas when I talk about my worlds, because um, they are for an RPG game um, that I developed already. It's actually already available online. I'm getting ready to republish it though because I'm I first time I made it I wrote broke it down and I wrote it as a um, as a um, more not really generic but multifunctional um, so it covers all the different genres but um, it had everything all in once one stop shop which I thought's a good idea but then reading some articles and stuff like that and talking to some other people other people um, looking at some even some people's polls that they put out uh, a lot of people prefer to get just like one thing not like everything all at once so that's basically what I'm doing with Tricenaria is basically it's out there in its single form right now but um, I'm going to I'm redrafting it right now and it will come it'll basically go down for about the it'll be basically like a, a plain sight swap um, the same day it, um, it goes down it's gonna go right back up but I've already made the changes, and instead of one book, it'll actually be three books. But once I put them up to three books, it's actually it's going to reduce the price, um, which I think is fair because it's you know three separate books. But uh, what it does is it brings it breaks it down to where a game referee would have a a version, and there's going to be a version with monsters in it, and then. So you guys can kind of probably see where I'm going with that. That uh, people then can kind of pick and choose what they want to do. I like this uh, uh, primeval world though, because I think it's it's just fun. It'd be fun to be out there, you know, kind of fighting, you know, surviving. At least for me, it would be, but not I mean, that's not everybody's cup of tea. But. You can see right now we've got kind of most everything done uh, for the drawing itself. Um, we've got him out here. He's equipped. He's got his shield. Made it kind of like a, a shell a version of several shells. Plates put together from different creatures. So basically, they've already uh, mastered. One thing I think is funny too about Tricenaria when I first started doing it, and uh, first I had like the first era, second era, uh, third era, but then I was like, oh, well, you know, I started looking at our world, and it's like, oh, well, you know, we could, you actually could have all three eras at one time because, you know, we still got people that are prehistoric on, on Earth, that it wouldn't be that far of a stretch to have a, uh, a world where you've got different cultures at different levels of uh, technology and development so that's how the world is kind of set up I used to do the uh, sun's really cheesy on Tristan area I always do the signature it kind of marks it with my drawings because sometimes my drawings are different worlds um, but it kind of gives so I just put kind of marking points so I know that but you can see here we've got the smoke coming in just very light pin lines. I didn't go very detailed on the pin at all. But I think just looking at that now, when you look at for before when it was pencil, to now um, having the ink kind of applied to it, you can see that it's actually it's kind of a different um, look to the picture itself. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. Um, like I said, this is version 3 of this video series. So... If you have any questions or anything like that, like I said, if you've got ideas, things like that you see I'm doing or that you'd like to see me do or try, put that in the comments because if you put it in the comments, I'm one of those people that I'm very quick to respond. Um, I'll check the comments and then make sure that you guys get a good answer. And then also, uh, like I said, this is a series, so this is number three. So if you've got any questions at all, like put them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. 
like and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes up okay you guys take care it's good talking to you I hope you guys got something out of the work that I'm doing or if you you know learned something from it hopefully you did um, but if you got any questions like I said just let me know you guys have a good day